Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be taking a material from polygon.com, bringing it into Maya using our material converter, and then rendering it out with Octane. Before we get started though, let's take a look at the files we'll need during this video. We'll need the wood flooring 044 material, and the material converter add-on for Maya, both of which I already have saved to my hard drive, and I'll be including a link to them below this video. Okay, let's head over to Maya. Now this is the scene we're going to be working on today. It's a very simple scene, uh, basically just a floor plane for our wooden floor material, um, a HDR lighting setup, and I'm going to be using the perspective camera as our rendering one. So yeah, very simple. But before we get started, we're going to need to bring in our converter, or sorry, install our converter. Um, I've already got it installed under the custom panel here. You'll see the little polygon logo. But let's walk through the process of getting that set up for you. Once you've downloaded the zip folder from our website, extract it all into a folder anywhere on your hard drive. I've put mine on the desktop. Um, and then within that, there's this installer script file. Just drag that onto the viewport and let go. And the installation script will then ask where that folder was that you've saved. So as I said, mine's on the desktop. And then within that, there's also a polygon material converter folder. Double click on that and then hit select. And that's it. Okay, so now the converter is installed, let's take a look at how to actually use it. Give it a click and you'll get this little window pop up which uh, lets us control the converter and what it does. The first option is the textures folder. So I'm going to click on that and this is where you tell the converter where to look on your hard drive for your polygon materials. So mine are all sitting in here and as you can see I've got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> um, and what I could do is just select that folder and the converter would bring them all in um, and then from the hypershade window you could assign them to the various objects in your scene. Um, but I don't want that, I just want to bring in the one material, the one we're working on, wood flooring 044. So I'll double click on that folder, hit select and you can see within that folder it's found one material which is good. The next option is the renderer. Um, by default the converter will look at your scene and automatically figure out what renderer you're using and fill that in for you but if you do need to change it it's a, a simple drop down box. Below that we've got some advanced settings which I'm not going to touch at all because I don't need to they're all set up exactly how we want them so I'm just going to hit convert and that's it that wooden floor material has now been brought into Maya. So if I hit the hypershade window like so you'll now see we have that wooden floor material. Great. Then after that, click on the floor plane itself and then right mouse button on the wood flooring material and assign material to selection. Once that's done, we can take a look at the actual material as it appears on our floor. And it's not looking too bad at all. It's quite close to the reference images that we have on our website. The only thing that we are going to need to adjust is the gloss map slightly. Now, with a gloss map, um, oh, sorry, with with all the different renderers out there, there's various different uh, implementations of PBR, uh, and sometimes to, to get a, an exact one-to-one -one copy of, of the material that you see on our website, you will need to make some slight adjustments. And in this case, it's the gloss map or more accurately, it's a roughness map because it's being inverted um, that we need to work on. So yeah, that's the the texture uh, node. That's where the texture is being brought in by uh, our converter. And then this node here is inverting it into a roughness map. So we're going to be working just after that here. So to do that, we're going to bring in a multiply texture, an octane multiply texture, and pop that in there and then we've got the texture output from this color correction node. I'm going to drag that into the multiply, hit other and then select texture one. You'll then get, see it's actually brought up an extra node called texture one and then just take the output and plug that into roughness. And you'll notice the floor goes really really shiny, like too shiny. Now the reason for that is this is a multiply operation and currently the amount that it's multiplying this texture two is set at zero. Now, if you multiply something by zero, the output is zero, i.e., black. Um, so we're getting a completely black roughness map, which, in the case of a roughness map, means extra, extra shiny, completely reflective, like a mirror. So if I raise this to one, that puts us back to where we were before. Yeah, 
that's the roughness map exactly as as we had it before but we've now got this this extra layer of control it's currently multiplying it by one and if you multiply something by one it doesn't change does it so that's why it's the same so what we want to do is set this to about a 0.65 or so yeah that's pretty much identical to the, the way it should look um, so the only thing to do now, and this is more for the next video, because uh, we'll be working with the nodes quite a bit more uh, in depth in that one. Uh, so we need to keep our nodes nice and neat and tidy. I'm going to name this Roughness Adjust. There we go. Okay, so yes, that's how you set up a polygon material in Octane. So in summary, we've downloaded a material from polygon.com, brought it into Maya using our material converter, made a slight adjustment to the roughness map um, via a multiply node uh, and then rendered it out using Octane. 